the production coordinator is the person who's wrangling all of the needs of the production office, but also supporting all of the other production departments. The production coordinator is the production office department head. They run the production office and they run the production office team. And just a quick review of the production office and what they do, they are the control tower of information. They are the nucleus of any production. Everything in the physical production phase starts and stops with the production office. And the production office also facilitates all the needs of all the departments. That office team is comprised of office PAs, production secretaries, assistant production coordinators, and the production coordinator. That is the ladder you would need to climb if you're interested in becoming a production coordinator. There is so much that's handled by the production coordinator. They have a lot of responsibilities. I'm Amber with Beyond Film School where I teach you all about the film industry and I have tapped into the authors of Keys to the Production Office, Jennifer and Galana. They are amazing, they were great to chat with and they taught me all about the production office and all the positions in the production office. I'm an AD, I work solely on set, so thank God they have bailed me out to teach you all about the production office. Let's jump in to some of the responsibilities of a production coordinator. The coordinator will work with the production manager to fulfill the needs of every department. And they'll use their staff, the assistant production coordinator, the production secretary, and the office PAs to, like Jen said, implement all of those needs. If they need to get the best price quote for the electrical equipment package, the assistant production coordinator might be tasked with that. And it's the coordinator who's going to oversee the APC going to do the research to find and get multiple bids for the equipment package and then run that up the chain, get approval from the production manager, you know, do a place the order, do a purchase order, send that to accounting. They're, they're coordinating and communicating with all of the different departments to make sure that those departments have what they need. Travel is a huge thing that falls in on the production office, whether or not it's falling on the coordinator themselves or a travel coordinator or an assistant production coordinator. But uh, travel is its own beast. And especially when you're when you're bringing in a bunch of cast and crew, or you're working entirely on distant location. That is a full time job. So they're going to be working with the insurance company. They may be tasked with getting quotes from the insurance company if there's additional insurance needed. Let's say you are taking a crew on a cruise ship. You're going to need boat and hull insurance uh, to take your crew on a, uh, on a boat. Um, you know, if there are stunts or special effects, you may need additional insurance to fulfill those requirements. And the production coordinator is going to be working with the insurance broker to get insurance coverage, to issue certificates of insurance for the needs of all of those departments. They are also going to be handling a lot of the cast needs. Um, which will generally be something that will, again, come down from the line producer and the production manager. Hey, this cast member needs a crib because they're traveling in with their you know, six-month-old and the hotel room or the apartment doesn't have a crib. So the production coordinator is going to be tasked with sourcing a crib that fits the needs of the cast member, having it delivered, and maybe even having the office PAs build it. Right. You know? I was going to so, say, the office PAs are going to be there built, putting yeah. it a hundred percent. I once had an actress who was traveling in with twins and we had to get two cribs and two car seats and two bouncy seats and two high chairs. And our office, um, our office PAs at that time, they went, purchased all of those items, built all of those items and set them up in the actor's uh, apartment. And that's something the production coordinator has to oversee. And I think these are all things that that, you know, the set PA, the third electric, the prop uh, assistant don't no know. no idea that's going they on. They have no, no idea. idea. Right. They have no idea that that's happening. What? <laughs> no way. Vehicle rentals. Um, in, a, in New York City, a lot of people don't own cars. But let's say you're filming 50% outside of the city and you need to rent cars for half of your crew so that they can transport themselves to and from or craft service needs a van to fill with crafty to get it to set the production office and the production coordinator are also tasked with with that with vehicle rentals it's a never-ending list of what the production coordinator does um, i mean they're also responsible for union studio production company network compliance 
with company protocols and adherence to um, rules and regulations and reporting. So all of that, depending on each of those entities, whoever is a part of your production and whoever's not, I mean, there's independent productions that then would just have the production company policies um, or if the union signatory, what are the, what are the reporting guidelines for that? So they're responsible for making sure that all of that happens and that any um, compliance is communicated to the first AD or the other departments so that so that the production is operating as um, as the oversight intends they're going to be handling uh, workers comp claims someone gets hurt on on the production they're the ones who are going to be following through making sure that the paperwork gets filed that the person gets the the care that they need making sure that all of that um, is reported in and, and tracked so and loss and damage yeah, and loss and damage. Exactly. Uh, so yeah. When someone breaks something on set, it gets reported to the production office. They need to file a report so that they can track the progress of the repair or the replacement of that lost or damaged item. And that would include loss and damage at a location, uh, working with the locations department to make sure that that cost gets covered uh, for whatever that damage or repair is. And then... The big one we, we've we missed is the production coordinator is responsible for setting up and striking that production office. It's the whole facility where everybody works. Um, any, any department that uh, needs an office space to work out of, the production coordinator is the one helping secure that, that space, helping make sure that it's outfit based on their needs, furniture, internet. Uh, is there a kitchen area? Are there snacks? Um, what am I missing? Phones, phones, <laughs> phones, phones, you know, everything that someone at uh, printers, uh, copy right. machines, like office machines, all of that. Um, they're, they're getting the bids on that and they're helping, they're figuring out, you know, what each office needs, not just the production office. So that's two distinctions we should make is that, you know, there's the production office where the coordinator and the assistant coordinator and the, and the office staff work, but there's also the production offices where other departments who need an office space are working. And a lot of times they, they're used interchangeably, but depending on the context of the sentence, you're either going to the production office to see the coordinator or you're going to the production office because you're the production designer and your office is in the production offices. You know what I mean? Right. And that's where accounting might be housed, where art department might be. Maybe props has a room in the production office. The first AD may have a space in the production office. If you're on a television show and you have alternating first ADs or AD teams, they're going to use the production office. And the production office may or may not be at the stage, but if it's not at the stage, uh, at, at the sound stage where you may be filming, then you're also going to have to set up additional support spaces. You might have green rooms that are at the stage that the production office is responsible for outfitting the green rooms for the cast. You're going to have maybe the set deck space is going to be a storage facility that also has an office and they're going to need a water cooler and a copier and desks and chairs and and internet and phones there. And that might not be a facility that's all set up, uh, especially if you're not in a major production hub that has those kinds of facilities. Some of the responsibilities that were not mentioned in the interview were they are in charge of hiring and sometimes firing the office staff. That includes the assistant production office coordinator, the production secretary, and the office PAs. The production coordinator also oversees creating sides for shooting each day, any office runs that need to be done, office lunch and crafty. They secure equipment rentals and purchases. They do basic accounting support like completing purchase orders, managing petty cash, and any P card reports. And they also work with the first to create the daily prep schedule and oversee setup and striking of meetings and scouts like location scouting and tech scouts. They're also the gatekeepers for production information and sharing that information. We're talking crew list, contact list, cast list, vendor list, all the lists, schedules, scripts, all the things. During pre-production, they're also helping assist with pre-production meetings like your tone meetings, there's a production meeting, all of the different meetings that you're gonna have before you start shooting, they have a hand in setting up. They are also handling contracts, certain uh, deal memos that need to go out, SAG contracts, cast contracts. My DGA contract is also going to be in the hands of the production coordinator. I'm going to get my contract, my deal memo from that person. And all that lovely wrap merchandise you get from the shows, your wrap gifts, they are helping organize your wrap gifts and your wrap parties. So thank your production coordinators for celebrations and gifts, folks. Oh my god, thank you so much. 
if you are looking into being a production coordinator and you're interested in being that position, you have to be organized. It goes without saying you definitely have to be organized because you have your hands in so many different things and all the departments. You also have to be very, very patient. You're dealing with lots of personalities and it really, really helps to be personable to have, you know, those lovely social skills. If you have the right temperament, it might be the job for you. The coordinator really does it all. A lot of times they're kind of serving as, as a parent to the crew. I mean, they're truly the person that everybody goes to. I need this, I need that. They, when, when crew goes on location, a lot of times they forget how to be a regular human being and <laughs> go to the production coordinator for every little thing. I need to go get a, a prescription. Okay, call CBS, you know? Like, you don't need to go through me for that. So a lot of times there's, there's oh, that. True. It definitely takes a certain temperament to be a, court, a production coordinator. Production coordinators do have a union. You have the IATSE Local 161 covering the East Coast and Local 871 covering the West Coast of the US. You should definitely check them out on Instagram. They both have accounts on Instagram. They have a ton of information there and I will leave the link below to their websites if you're interested in trying to join their union if you are going to be a production coordinator in the future. production coordinators and the production office are very undervalued, underappreciated. I really think if you have a good production coordinator and a good office, it will make or break your production because so much has to go in and out of that office and they are the support network for every single person on your film set. And as a production manager or a line producer, I rely on that person and that department more than any other department on the show because we can't do anything without them. If you are interested in climbing the ladder to become a production coordinator, I highly recommend Jennifer and Galano's book, Keys to the Production Office. It is so detailed. It is definitely something to look into if you're trying to work in the office and not have those growing pains. It makes it a little bit an easier of a transition for you. So I will leave that link below for you. Here's to all the production coordinators out there. You are definitely doing a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to our productions.